Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video today about dog parks. Um, we had an incident happen to us at a dog park over the weekend, and I just wanted to talk about it. Just kind of one of those things that if you're going to be going to a busy dog park, you're going to encounter these sort of things and what our experience has been and what we have learned uh, and how to deal with that sort of thing. You know, we try to go to various different parks just to give our dogs um, exposure to a lot of different other dogs, also to show, you know, exercise, all that. There's a lot of great benefits to dog parks. However, you're going to be dealing with people and their pets and their egos and all of that stuff. And, and literally, navigating that can be as difficult as it is navigating any sort of social situation because people get very, very heated about their dogs. Um, over the weekend, we went to a dog park down in Santa Monica and somebody there had uh, a fairly, I would say, fairly aggressive dog. Nobody was hurt, but, you know, we always want to make sure that Aura, especially while she's young, has a positive experience and doesn't want to have to deal with um, heightens emotions from us and she doesn't want to be told the wrong signals. So, you know, we had somebody had an aggressive dog. We asked them if there's dog. They were kind of nonchalant about it. We got in a little bit of, an, I didn't get into it. The dogs got in a little bit of a kerfuffle or took off running. It was pretty stressful for a moment, but after that, we just left the dog park. You know, I, I didn't make it, I didn't, I really wanted to confront the person, but I didn't. And the reason was, I think if me or my wife got heated, it would be sending the wrong signal to the dog to say, you know, this is a negative place, this is an aggressive place. And I didn't want that to happen because, you know, I want her to have positive association. She was fine. So we took the dog out of the dog park, went down, walked on the beach, made a positive learning experience out of it. I don't understand why people bring dogs to a dog park that are aggressive. I can't understand that mentality and I just don't know. I still don't know. I really struggle with this every day. And you know, I've heard a lot of dog trainers say and a lot of people on the internet say there's no there are no net bad dogs, there are only bad owners. And you know, I don't know the situation this person was in or where they got this dog from or what area of training they had, but you know, the person had no control over her pets and it was a stressful time. But we try to turn it into a positive thing. You know, we got out of the dog park, got out of the situation. We, we made sure that we kept our spirits in the positive light and turn it into a learning experience instead of dwelling on the negative, which, which luckily was not that bad. I mean, you know, she was covered in mud and saliva and pretty, pretty shook up for a moment, but she bounced back and she's, she's completely fine. You know, I saw there's there's a video on the internet that I saw of a very popular trainer on you know took his dog to a dog park, pushed him into a bad situation, and you know, guy's great. He he apologized. He learned from it. And you know, dog parks are dog parks are a very strange place. And I I think erring on the if it gets weird, if your dog is not having fun, just leave. Just leave. Leave the pride and the ego and just go. It's not worth it. It's not worth hurting your dog or anything like that. So. Just wanted to bring that up, you know, if you have a puppy, especially those, those first few experiences are going to be such a such a building block for the rest of their lives and, and you know, you want to make the dog park a tool. I think of it as a tool, I don't think of it as anything other than that, so thanks guys, I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.